I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you questions on linear systems. In this set of videos, you'll find questions relating to numbers, relating to percent, age, and now we have distance, speed, and time. The question here is, a jet flew from Toronto to Thunder Bay, a distance of 1290 kilometer, in 2 hours and 15 minutes. The plane flew into a headwind on the trip to Thunder Bay, that means against the wind, and with a tailwind on the trip return back to Toronto, so with, with along with the wind, right? If the return trip took two hours, determine speed of the plane and the speed of the wind. So whenever you look into distance, speed, time, remember that they are related by this triangle distance is speed into time right so it's a good idea to just uh, keep it in mind distance is product of speed and time i also prefer to make a table when solving such questions so so let me make a table right there so we have two scenarios one moving from thunder jet flew from toronto to thunder bay okay so so the scenarios which we have here are, we we'll list them here. The first scenario is jet flew from Toronto to Thunder Bay. So let me write TO for Toronto and Thunder Bay TH. Now distance, speed, time. So we'll write this here, distance, speed, and time. Now the distance was 1290, just fill it up. Speed we don't know. Time is 2 hours 15 minutes. So for the time being, let me write 2 hours 15 minutes. See, minutes is quarter of an hour, right? So all you could do, 15 divided by 60, you get 2.25 hours. Okay? 15 is half of half. Now, on the return trip, that is from Thunder Bay to Toronto, same distance 1290 was done in two hours correct so always a good idea to write units here itself let's say kilometers we we'll say kilometers per hour and time in hours so you don't have to write on the side how about the speed now we are saying determine speed of plane and speed of wind so let's define our variable we'll say let P B speed of plane and W B speed of wind, correct? Now, plane took longer to go to Thunder Bay since it was, it flew into the headwind, so speed was lower, right? So it is P minus W and with tailwind means it had extra speed effectively and that makes sense right now we have the situation we have to form equation to find the solution two variables you need two equations and that is how they are related distance speed into time now whenever you see this I could have written 1290 is equal to this times this and this is also 1290 okay I do a lot of such mistakes so 1290 is this times that. But to solve, it is kind of better to write in terms of speed, right? So let me show you how. How is speed related? So if I write from the first equation, okay, let me just extend this and let me convert the situation into equation. So I'm writing P minus W, which is speed. So speed is what? Speed is distance over time so so it gives me 1290 divided by 2.25 2.25 is it okay and for the second equation sum of their speeds is 1290 i mean 1290 divided by 2 now we could always use calculator to find these numbers so we have 1290 divided by 2.25 which is equals to in decimals oh okay anyway 573 point let me write 33 three. okay 
and 1290 divided by 2 is 645. That's a good number. So when it comes to 3 recurring, that means approximate answers, right? Now to find P and W, we have two equations. Let's number them, equation 1 and 2. So if I add them up, what do I get? So if I add them up, that is to say, if I do equation 1 plus equation 2, you can clearly see wind velocity is cancelled. We got 2 times P equals to just add them up, right? So, so we have 645 plus 573.33, that is 12, 18.33. So the plane speed is 12, 18, which we already had there, divided by 2 which oh my god I didn't put decimals 1218.33 divided by 2 gives us in decimals 609.1 let's say approximately 609 correct so we get speed of the plane as 609 and if we subtract and do and that means 2 minus 1 we'll get speed of the plane okay does make sense to you or what we can do here is we know sum is 645 so from equation 2 let me let me just take care from equation 2 since we are rounding right so it's good to use this equation we know p plus w equals to 645 it implies that wind speed is 645 minus p and p is 609 so we have 645 minus 609 which is 645 minus 609 I mean sorry 645 minus 609 is equal to 36 so so we get 36 for the win and now we can write down our answer that is for plane it is 609 kilometers per hour and for wind it is 36 kilometers per hour including Units is very important in all these questions, right? So I hope you understand and appreciate how such problems can be solved. Check your calculations. For me, sometimes it can go wrong. However, the method is straightforward. So see how distance speed time is related. We prefer to write uh, P minus W in terms of speed. The equation since uh, it makes it simpler to simplify. I hope that helps. Feel free to write and share your comments. If you subscribe and share my videos, it would be great. Thank you and all the best.